Good morning, you guys. <sighs> Happy Thursday. Chapel! Hey! <sighs> Sorry, y'all. He was in on top of my sink. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. Hey, ho, hey, ho, it's Thursday. Good morning, good morning. I hope you guys had a wonderful night. I'm sorry, y'all. I actually had breakfast this morning. I, and what was my breakfast? Tuna sandwich. I text Jeremiah. It was three o'clock in the morning, y'all. I was woke. Well, I woke up, and I had a crazy dream. I just don't remember it. I know it was insane, though. The dream was insane, but I can't remember none of it. Um, when I woke up at three, I was up a little bit, so I'm a little tired. I kind of keep was waking up. <coughs> <coughs> Constantly still coughing. <coughs> so I texted him about 3 this morning. I was like, hey, on your way home, usually there's a subway that's open. Grab me a sandwich. I didn't think he was going to do it. Because every time I text him to do something early in the morning, he don't do it. And so he actually did it. And I was like, wow, I didn't believe he was going to do it. He said, well, you asked me to do the possible, I do it. <laughs> but when you ask me to do the impossible, I can't do it. <laughs> and by that, sometimes, you know, like I told y'all, I, I crave sometimes that acid. Hey, I, I, hold on. Okay, I'm not playing with you. And he's not allowed in that back for no reason. If... I'm not monitoring him or he's not in Jeremiah's room because he tearing up stuff. But, um, yeah, a lot of times I'll text him to bring me back a Sprite. And he's like, there's no gas station open um, at that time. And ones that are, you have to talk to them through the, the window or whatever, which is fine. So he just don't stop. Um, but something like that. Uh, subway, he's like, they wide open. Yeah, I can do that. I was like, cool. But anyway, so I had a, a, a foot long tuna. Um, I put half of it in the refrigerator and uh, I tried to eat half. I didn't even eat the whole thing. I had to share some with El Chapo. He was either that or hanging because he was over here looking all over the place looking for the tuna I was walking around with my plate in my hand because I don't trust him um, he all on the sink I was like oh that's right I have a cat now I have to share my tuna <laughs> so it was a lot on there so I gave him some um, and he didn't even finish it all he ate some of it which is good but I didn't finish it all guys because oh, I have for some reason lately when I eat stuff I feel a bit sick um, and it's not, it's like almost when I throw up sick, and it's the type of sick when, I don't know if anybody else has, has issues with textures of food, so some textures I can't do, um, I can't do a lot of may mayo, I don't like mayo at all, and if I just have to have it, it has to be barely existent, right? Um. And I don't like sour cream, stuff like that. So if I have or think that there's sour cream on my, say for example, I, I order a taco or something and I think it has sour cream on it, I can't eat it, right? If I don't see evidence of sour cream and I bite into it and I get a texture of sour cream, I can't eat it. For example, the cheese, like if you go to Taco Bell, they don't, the soft shell tacos or not the soft, uh, not the soft shell, uh, quesadilla, quesada, oh, I forget how to pronounce it, but it's like the flat bread and it's either beef or steak or chicken or whatever and, um, 
the cheese that they put on there is like a saucy cheese. For some reason, that sauce cheese makes me think sour cream sometimes. Sometimes it don't bother me at all, but sometimes I can't eat it because of the texture of that, that cheese. And it just it makes me start feeling sick. Um, yeah, and that's how I feel this morning, uh, eating my tuna. Like, I've never had an issue with my tuna before. Um, and for some reason, I just started feeling a little, you know, nauseated. Kind of like, you know, I don't know. Uh, but I've been that way a lot lately when I eat. It doesn't matter what it is. It's, it can be stuff that I eat on the regular. Last Yesterday for lunch, I had salad. Okay, all I had was the um, the lettuce, which was the the spinach and something, the leeks or whatever that I was. I told y'all I had last time, not just the regular lettuce. It was so good. Um, so I had that um, with with uh, carrots and a little bit of shredded cheese, and for the meat I had uh, chicken. You know the chicken strips you buy that's already cut for like fajitas or something so there was a few left in the freezer put it in the microwave and that's what I used to go with my salad y'all was eating this salad and I just started feeling sick I just oh I just started feeling sick like I don't know like like I said like as if the texture was off yeah, so I don't know what that's about, but yeah, I did go donate you guys when I got off work yesterday. Um, I took the garbage out, went donated, cashed in my coins. How about on my way to donate, I'm going down Lake. Okay, I'm taking Lake all the way to Wolf, right? I'm doing something I haven't done in a long, long time, right? I'm listening to the music. I actually got the radio on, y'all. And I'm listening to some uh, more upbeat church music. 97.5 boost. And I'm listening to the church music. I'm, you know, y'all into it. And all of a sudden, I'm hearing this. And I'm like, is that the radio? What? I don't never remember this noise being in the song. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck am I hearing? I turned the uh, radio down. I'm like, okay. At this point, I'm sitting still. So then I started moving. I'm like, what the heck? And, and I was very, very much close to Wolf at this time. I was like a block away. How about my muffler? Muffler came off. Like, why? Stuff keep happening, y'all. And I'm like, okay. As you can hear it dragging. You know. I'm like. And then I could do but go and get to you know the, my destination, get out, look underneath, see if I can lift it up. What right? Of course it's hot. I know that. Um, so first thing I do is I look down. Sure enough, you see where it snapped. And uh, so I go through my car, see if I can find anything that I could use. Um, couldn't find anything and so I, and so now I'm sitting in the base so what do I do do I wait till I get out it's gonna be late by the time I finish donating you know it's because it's a, a shop right next to the place so I said I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead into that shop uh, yeah later <laughs> I know I ain't even finished that why you wanted that what the other half go ahead take it <laughs> what, what was he at? You know what, Chapo? You really pissing me off, dude. The bowl is in the sink because he was in it. Sleeping in it again. This damn cat, y'all. I'm telling y'all. I'm Chapo. Keep on playing with me, y'all. I'm going to put that back door and let Chapo go for a walk on his own. <laughs> Man. Anyway, so I I I took the car next door. Um, they were so sweet, and they said they closed at six. It was it was six o'clock, and the guy was standing out, little Mexican guy, very cute, thin little guy, and uh, Mexican girl. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, 
on the inside. Oh, she was so cute. And uh, I explained the situation. And he said, let me see. He took the car. He got the keys. He, as soon as he turned it on, you hear it. And uh, she's like, yeah. And so um, she went back there with him and helped him. He just tied it up for me. Because that's what I asked. I was like, can y'all just tie it up until I get to my mechanic? You know, and, it, and then I asked them how much do they charge um, to fix it. And she said, depends on, you know, um, she said around 180 something. And it just depends on the reason for the muffler coming loose, you know. Uh, so they had to look at it first. But anyway, um, they tied it back up for me. So I went on and donated. I left. Um, it, it was it was really I don't know what was going on in there yesterday, but they were so behind. Um, I didn't get out of there till late. And then I shot and exchanged my coins. I had fifty bucks, fifty eight dollars worth of coins. And they took five of that, so I had fifty. Three, fifty-three, and I went to the gas station. I tried to win, couldn't win anything. The machine that I usually play uh, was down. It was two machines that was down. I'm like, this is crazy. And so the ones that I did play, they they were just a bust. Um, so then uh, I just came on home. I got on my way home. I stopped at Taco Bell. Jeremy asked uh, to get Taco Bell. So I did, and I didn't feel like cooking, so I grabbed me a sandwich as well. And like I said, I came home and I could barely eat it. One, they didn't have a lot of meat on it. Like, I don't know, they were really busy and it wasn't that many people. I think the drive through was more busier. So I, I, I actually walked in because it seemed like they were sitting forever, just two cars and me in the driveway. I'm like, the drive through. I'm like, uh, backed up. Went in and. <coughs> They were so busy and it was just, I couldn't understand why. But I think they was training someone too. Uh, but anyway, it wasn't the best. Um, so, I ended up coming home, nibbling on that, half of it in the garbage. And then I, um, what did I do? Oh, I uh, mop, swept and mopped the kitchen floor. I changed the cat litter. Uh, washed all the dishes in there. I think it's just a plate in there. Um, a cup. <coughs> in my plate right now. <coughs> and I went to bed. I was tired. Um, I'm still tired. And as y'all can hear... I don't know why I, right now I'm just still dealing with this freaking coughing. Sometimes it's completely dry. Sometimes it's not. I do have my water this morning, my ice water. Um, I was drinking that while eating my sandwich. Um, but I went ahead and got the coffee going because I thought I would try to... <coughs> I thought I... <coughs> Thought I would be able to get away with not drinking coffee, but it's not going to happen. I didn't eat all my sandwich, as you can see. I'll finish it later. Uh, I did take some of the tuna off because there was a lot on there, and I gave some to the cat. It was a lot. Um, the other half, Jeremiah, just took it. Uh, he had a foot long, too, but he still was hungry, so neither one of us felt like cooking, so I let him have that because... Nine times out of ten, it'll, it'll be in there. That's what I do. <laughs> I'll order. I'll, I'll get a foot long whenever I get one, and eat half. And it take me a while to eat that half, and then put the other half in the refrigerator. And it take me a while to eat that. So that's why I was telling y'all my weight didn't come from eating uh, too much food. It came from eating certain foods and junk food. <laughs> And obviously soda. Where's my inhaler? I don't know, y'all. Here it is. Oh, that cool air feels good, but just remember when you go out, take the garbage out. So just stuff it down in the bag because that's uh that I changed the cat litter last night, so just take the whole bag out with you. Um 
I shut the window. The air feels so good. I had it cracked. Um, but that might have been why I was coughing too. If I intake air, it caused me to cough. Bless you. If I inhale heat, I cough. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah guys so I hope um yeah that was my day yesterday guys that was my day yesterday and I drove okay so when I turned the car off after they tied it up for me right went and donated when I was done donating I was like oh is he gonna start now I know cars still run without that muffler but they don't run well um, because I've had a car before um, years and years ago my kids were little um, that the muffler fell off the car still moves but for some reason I was like is it gonna start because it didn't act, it act like it didn't want to start but I was having issues like that prior to now let me tell y'all never ignore anything and I say that because I could have prevented this um, I went over you know first of all this the ragged street I was on is I finally hit something and it knocked it on loose but prior to this a couple of times I would ease over over the street bumps and I would hear the car go shh, like something scraped at the bottom. And I was like, now what just scraped at the bottom? My car ain't never scraped that before, so what is scraping? And then I would forget about it, right? So that was the muffler then. And had I paid more attention or when I went and had my mechanic do the lower, the um, rod or whatever, I could have had him look at it then, right? I always forget it never dawned on me because I'm never I'm hardly ever in the car and when I am in the car I'm hardly ever going over a speed bump and when I do I ease over it and when I hear that it's like oh that's right but then again I forget don't forget look into it had I looked into it we better I would have been able to catch that sooner um, prior to right now you know on my way back the car was like a couple of times it started it didn't want to move I had to put my hazard lights on because people was behind me and then eventually you know I it picked up and choom, you know I was like oh my god so now I have to get that muffler fixed um, when Jeremiah had a BMW we took he got his muffler fixed um, his fell off and my mechanic tied it up for him and told us to go to the shop on division the same shop I go to um, to get my tire the same ch shop that I'm going to go to to get my oil changed they changed the oil last time and I'm going to see how much they would charge I totally forget how much it was for Jeremiah's I think it was 120 they welded it back on there or something I honestly don't remember um, so instead of me donating Friday um, now I'm gonna have to donate on Saturday which I hate that I like my weekends free but um, I can't see myself driving around with all that that noise I can't when the car you know I can't do that so now I'm debating should I get the oil change or should I get the muffler fix both need to be done but I think that muffler is is going to take precedence for me um, I don't know I'll see what I have left off a of rapid you know my check ain't going to be nothing and it's going to be rent so whatever my check is the whole thing is going to a rent but I can't I have to get those two elements done those two I have to so I think Friday no, Saturday. Um, yeah, see, whatever monies that I would get from donating, I would use that toward getting the car fixed. Oh. Well. 
We'll see. We'll see. We'll do whatever I have. I'll wrap it. I'll pull it. Add it to what I have right now. And... him in there scratching yeah, okay um yeah i think i'll do that i will pull together everything that i have and get that muffler fixed and then i'll go and donate and then the money from donating i will use to go back to them and have them change the oil it's only 50 for them to do the oil and i'll, I'll double check that when they're doing the muffler I'll make sure that it's only 50 and I'll come back and get that done and that's it <laughs> that'll be it I'm sorry y'all this cat I be watching him some, he just be doing some of the craziest things and it always catches my attention to be honest cause it's been a long time since I had a cat now my cat ain't never act like this one and this is supposed to be a service cat. But he, like I told y'all before, he act wow. I don't know, maybe he's just used to doing what he won't. Anyway, guys, yeah, that's that was my day yesterday. Those are my plans. Y'all pray for me. I'm finna go ahead and make my coffee. I'm finna put this sandwich in the refrigerator. And I'll try to eat it for lunch. Just looking at it, I want to finish it, but I don't. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, um, put my water back in the freezer, um, and yeah, get ready to work. So you guys have a great day today, a great morning. Uh, it is Friday Eve. You guys remember to say your prayers, not just for your family, friends, and loved ones, but all our brothers, all our sisters in Christ. Remember to treat people the way you would expect to be treated or better. And expect great things. Y'all, I'm expecting great things today to happen to me, through me, and for me. I hope you are too. Talk to y'all later. Bye now. El Chapo, say good morning. Hey. <laughs> Something called us, something has caught us attention in that window. I ain't seen my little pigeon buddies in a while. <coughs> That's probably who we're looking for right now. <coughs> Chapo <coughs> Long as he sit there don't start messing in that on that screen but. Sometimes he goes like, you see me? That's how the expression that be on his face sometimes. Like, did she catch me? Yes, I caught you. Um, anyway, guys, have a great morning. I'll talk to you later. Okay, guys, it's 8.05, so I'm only going to talk to you about till 8.10. I did get up and go make my coffee. Ooh, the regular dark rose with the vanilla creamer. I used the last of the creamer, so I got to get more. And, of course, the Irish whipped cream. <laughs> And while I was in there making my coffee, I figured going to knock the dishes out that was in there. Oh, that's so good. The bowl that Chopper was sleeping in, I washed it out. Uh, my plate went in the refrigerator with my sandwich. But there was one plate and one cup and a fork and a spoon. That was it. So I knocked that out the way. My kitchen is definitely even cleaner than it was yesterday. Uh, I wiped down the couches in here. I think when I get off work, I'm going to wipe down the couch again, though. Because uh, Chop will be everywhere and his fur is everywhere. So I'm going to wipe it down again. Uh, I'll try to do it once a day. So good. Actually, I could have made it a little bit stronger. But it's good. Um, yesterday, guys, when I, I I thought about it too. Yesterday, um, when I was I got a soda with my uh, Taco Bell sandwich yesterday, right? And I set my soda on the table. Mind you, it's full. Okay, I go in the kitchen to get some sauce, do something, and I hear boom. 
he come here the cat then knocked over my soda now not only did he knock it over he knocked it off the table onto the floor and I'm like how the heck he just be doing some stuff he just be doing some stuff um yeah uh, yeah, guys, I am definitely, as y'all can see, my lip has just, ooh, so damaged. But, uh, I'm gonna keep it like this for a while. I just don't have the desire to do anything different. Um, I was thinking about, you know, for my birthday, April 9th, coming, uh, I don't have no plans. I don't want no plans. <laughs> um, I was thinking about I might go ahead and braid it. Um, that might be a gift for myself. I may go ahead and die about the snow and then braid it um most likely black maybe red on the ends i don't know i was thinking about dyeing it red i don't know i don't know Chapo. but definitely i'm thinking about doing something to it um so anyway guys for sure for sure this time have a great morning and i will talk to you guys later bye now